my name is Hector Black. I've been interested in organic farming, I guess, for 40 years. But uh, in the 30 years we've been here, 30 some years, we've never used any chemicals or pesticides. I think there's an awful lot that we don't know about the chemicals, pesticides and herbicides and all fungicides. And another big reason for me is I'm convinced that the proper way to farm is to leave the land better than you found it, attempting to build soil instead of just using what's there to the maximum. When we moved here, the soil was hard. There were very few birds, hardly any worms in the ground at all. And now the soil is just wonderful. How did you build the soil back up? We mulch and compost everything from the garden, everything from the kitchen. We use hay from the hay field in the compost. And if you compost hot, get it up to 140 degrees, you can kill all the weed seeds that are in there. What is the process of hot compost? You have to get the right proportion of, of carbon to nitrogen. And you use that in layers with the um, hay or whatever else you're composting, weeds. You just make layers and you have to get about what is that, about four foot or so in height. You have to have a certain amount of mass, you have to have water. It has to be wet in order for the fermentation process to begin. Then we have a thermometer that we stick into the pile that measures the heat inside and we usually get it up to 140. Then we turn the pile on itself so that what was on the outside goes to the inside and again heats up to 140. The idea being to make sure that everything is heated up to 140 degrees so that any pathogens or weed seeds or whatever in there is taken care of and eliminated. It doesn't take, oh it might take maybe what, two weeks for a pile to start cooling off maybe a little bit longer than that. And you have wonderful stuff when you're through, just the most beautiful soil. And uh, it, it's just, uh, you, you know, you put it on your garden and the results are just extraordinary even afterwards. Mm -hmm. 